Ahead of Harker Heights' home opener just last week, the Knights were able to do something truly incredible. After 12 months apart, inside the Knight locker room at UMHB, father and son were reunited. That emotional reunion turned quickly to an inspiring performance. They say it takes a village. People look out for you. So we're a military family, and that's a big deal for me because right. when he's gone, it's just us. We don't know anybody here. We don't have any family here right in Colleen. Chief Warrant Officer 2 Eric Moore is stationed on Fort Hood, but he spent the past 12 months on a hardship tour in Korea. I, I thought I was coming home on September 30th, and that's when I first went to Korea. However, uh, during COVID-19, um, a lot of movement stopped. It was a stop move throughout the whole military. So uh, the decision for me to come home was really up in limbo all the way up until maybe late August, early September because I didn't have a replacement. A brief trip home six months in, wiped out because of the pandemic. So when Moore boarded a plane from Korea to Seattle on September 30th, he hadn't told his three kids, including Eric II, a junior at Harker Heights High School. Deuce started getting suspicious, though, when he asked to go to his friend Juan's house, something his mom lets him do all the time. I asked to go to his house, and she said, no, we have something planned. And I was like, for the past 12 months, we've never had anything just planned. <laughs> when Moore left for Korea, he'd only been home from Afghanistan for seven months. To see his kids for the first time in a year, these military parents had to orchestrate a surprise. So Moore's friend picked him up at the airport to take him home after a conversation with his three-year-old daughter, Mia, over the summer. About June or July, she says, she says, Dad, um, I know you're my dad, but I've never met you, All right? And uh, she would go around the house and she would say things like, hey, you're not here, so you must don't live here, right? Um, so when you come, I just want you to ring the doorbell. I can't see. And that is exactly what he did. Oh. before heading to Deuce's game. Hey, before we hit the field, I got somebody special that wants to come talk to you guys real quick. And surprising his son before kickoff. Nice, let's go! I was speechless. I couldn't say anything. Like, nothing came out. So. After the embrace, I, um, we talked about like the game, like, <laughs> like, like he had never been gone. It was crazy. I'm trying to hold back the emotions, right? Um, just trying to, <laughs> trying to contain myself because I, I really want to um, I want to live in the moment. After a summer of working out together from across the world. He always challenges me. He can be better. So he challenged me. He was like, I'm old because I always make old jokes. He was like, I'm old, but I still do this better than you. But I was like, OK, bet. So I went and did it with him. And, uh, you know, he, he beat me. Just <laughs> <laughs> and a year of trying to help his family in Texas all the way from Korea. So he would fall asleep in my and my mom would hang up because that wasn't really helping. And after what his son says was the greatest pregame speech ever. Leave it all in the field. I remember, where, I remember for the rest of my life. CW2 Moore and his family are finally able to spend meaningful time together. It, it means the world. Um, you, you join the military to do something bigger. You, you, you want to provide for your family. And uh, in doing so, you end up you being away to take care of them, and it and it sometimes it don't make sense to you. Sharing an embrace that makes it all make sense. From all of us at Six News, welcome home, sir, and thank you and your family for everything.